That's a historic moment that everybody is watching today from India to the world where there are where there are four crew members on board the AX4 creating history back there at the International Space Station. For the wave, great to see everybody. All right, in just few moments from now, we will have... Station, we're happy to be here. It's so great to have, be here, finally. It was a long quarantine. What you're witnessing right now, viewers, is uh, the live address of the AX4 crew. Four different astronauts from four different countries addressing their nation. Leading the mission is India's Shubhar Shukla, a very proud moment for India. And in just some moments from now, we will hear the live address of the four members, of the four astronauts of the AX4 crew, where they will be addressing, they have, remember, docked at the International Space Station. The hatch is already open and everybody, everybody is waiting with bated breath for the And with the crew address. now in the space station, we're going to wrap up our portion of the live joint coverage from Hawthorne. It's been an honor to support Axiom Mission 4 thus far, and we wish the crew a successful time on the space station. We're, of course, also looking forward to joining AX4 again when it's time to return home. Ronnie, from launch to docking, it has been an absolute pleasure sharing this desk with you. What has been years in the making for India, Poland, and Hungary is now well underway. Axiom Space and NASA's joint coverage will continue from here through to the welcome ceremony as Peggy, Shubanshu, Swavosh, and Tibor start their two weeks aboard the orbiting laboratory. Over the course of our crew's time on station, we... All right, so that was a short and sweet address by the AX4 crew. Uh, we will be hearing in the, in the span of next 14 days from all the crew members. There will be hopefully videos that will be coming out uh, of the 14 day of space exploration of the AX4 crew members. There you see a beautiful moment that's being witnessed. The AX4 crew members hugging each other, giving each other the strength, the courage, and being happy in that very moment where they are there at the International Space Station to explore. In fact, uh, it is a very, very proud moment for India with India's Shubhanshu Shukla, who is leading the mission. Uh, just few moments uh, back, few hours back, in fact, before the docking happened, we heard that message uh, from Shubhanshu Shukla. In fact, when the docking happened at the International Space Station, Shubhanshu Shukla's parents were extremely happy. They had tears of joy. Let's listen in also to what they had to say when Republic spoke to them. प्रदर्शन प्रदर्शन है बहुत ज्यादा लैंडिंग शानदार हुई बहुत ज्यादा हाँ हाँ अब उसको वो खोजेंगे खोजेंगे वहाँ पे जो भी एक्सपेरिमेंट करने वो करेंगे वहाँ पे उसके बाद फिर भगवान साहब प्रार्थना करेंगे उनके सारे सपने वहाँ पूरे हो जो प्रार्थना तो वैसे भी रोज करते हैं बच्चे के लिए ही प्रार्थना है और हमारे पास और हमारे पास काम ही क्या है अब <laughs> बच्चे के लिए ही प्रार्थना करनी है बस बस अब उसी का इंतजार अच्छा बड़ी बात ये तो सभी तीनों लोगों को लेके गए हैं लेके आए हैं बड़ी जिम्मेदारी बड़ी खुशी की बात है कि इंडियन सबको लेके गया ऊपर <laughs> पायलट So that was the reaction of uh, Subhanshu Shukla's mother, e extremely aesthetic about her, about her child who is uh, up there in space. He is leading India. He is the mission pilot. She says that she is a very proud mother and that this is not just Subhanshu Shukla's mission, but he is carrying the dream of every Indian who wishes to be there up in space. Remember this beautiful moment, this very, very monumental and proud moment for India has come after 41 long years after Rakesh Sharma. This is India's Subhanshu Shukla.
celebrations are erupted uh, as soon as uh, the AX4 crew docked at the International Space Station. The cheers that said, well done Shooks, thereby congratulating Shubhanshu Shukla, the man who is leading the AX4 mission. On your screen right now is the exact moment when uh, the hatch opened, when the crew members were there hugging each other, wishing each other well done because this, remember, is a historic mission. 28 hours it took for them to reach there in and in the next span of 14 days the crew members the four crew members will be there at the international space station exploring and uh, exploring the space opportunities uh, that they will have to give back to the world when they land back on earth 14 days is the time that have been given to them uh, also Joining us live on uh, the broadcast, broadcast is Dr. S. Venkateshwara. He is uh, the former ISRO director. Uh, Dr. S. Venkateshwara, thank you very much for speaking to Rupa. All right, we will be connected with him in just a short while from now. But uh, let us take you through the historic moment that India is witnessing right now. In fact, the whole world is witnessing it. This is India's pride, Subhan Shukla, who is at the International Space Station. Now, he will be carrying seven experiments in space. Now, these experiments will be helpful for the Gaganyaan mission that India is looking forward to as soon as Shubhanshu Shukla is back on Earth. Cheers, Tiranga and uh, the Indian flag flying high here back in India with Shubhanshu Shukla making history with the Axiom 4 docking at the International Space Station, there are emotional reactions that we just got to you from the family who are uh, placed in Lucknow. Let's once again listen in to what the family had to say at the moment when the hatch opened, when the spacecraft docked at the ISS. <laughs> Well done, Shooks! 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 Thank you all the best people, all the family members, most importantly, well done. Congratulations all. Most of all, congratulations. Thank you all the best people, all the family members, most importantly, well done, congratulations all, most of all, congratulations. Well done, Shooks! 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 Well done, Shooks!
Thank you all the press people, all the family members, most importantly, well done, congratulations all, most of all, congratulations. It is monumental, it is historic and it's a very, very proud moment for every Indian watching this. The crew of AX4 has completed the docking procedures and now they will be spending about 14 days abroad at the station conducting somewhere nearly about 60 experiments. Shubhanshu Shukla alone will conduct nearly to nearly 7 experiments. Uh, now this includes a studying on a microgale, sprouting salad seeds and the hardness of microscopic uh, trade grids in space. Now, remember, each country is funding its astronaut seat. Poland has spent nearly 65 million euros for its astronaut flight, according to the Polish Space Agency. What you see on your screen right now is, a, is history being created. On, on that note, I am being joined by Dr. S. Venkateshwar Sharma. He is uh, the former ISRO director. Venkateshwar Ji, thank you very much for speaking to Republic. Indeed, a very historic moment. Uh, what I want to know from you is your first feeling when you saw that the spacecraft, the four members of the crew had uh, docked successfully at the International Space Station. Were your fingers crossed and what was the feeling at that moment? Uh, good evening to you and uh, good evening to the viewers. Uh, as a scientist and as an engineer and as a space scientist myself, from Israel, I feel really very proud and uh, uh, very honored to see one of our astronauts, whom we had selected as one of the astronauts for Gaganyan, has successfully uh, been flown into ISS and he has uh, been received very well by the ISS crew is something which is, uh, you know, really, uh, you know, heartening. Uh, every moment in uh, the, you know, a space journey is uh, something which we really uh, keep our fingers crossed. Of course, we are serious, but we are not tensed and we are, uh, we don't show our, uh, you know, emotions, but now, we are really uh, very serious about every moment, every activity and every uh, parameter of what we monitor and ensure that uh, uh, everything goes successfully. Uh, accordingly, uh, if you see uh, any minor uh, let-ups also, the space punishes you uh, very hard. There, so we, there is no chance and there is no excuses or uh, there is no uh, pardoning by the space. Therefore, uh, the, we take utmost care in terms of, uh, you know, preparing this astronaut whom, who was selected in 2019 and uh, he was thoroughly trained at uh, Russia and we thoroughly trained him in Bangalore for uh, four years. Then we sent him to NASA for uh, training. Then finally uh, into uh, the uh, mission uh, to ISS uh, uh, at the right time when 2026 and 2027 we are scheduled to launch our uh, Gaganyan, uh, uh, Gaganyan with the three astronauts where Subhanshu Shukla is going to play a major role and it is really heartening to see we have got the first hand knowledge and first hand uh, you know experience of training a sir. astronaut sending him to space and uh, he is uh, able to you know mingle with uh, the multidisciplinary multicultural yes, uh, you know uh, uh, astronauts and successfully yeah. getting to iss is such a it's a momentous moment for uh, the uh, isro in particular nation in large and I think we should congratulate the entire nation of 140 crore citizens for such a momentous occasion where one of our own astronaut has entered into ISS. Absolutely, sir. The nation is celebrating, India is celebrating and our, uh, our hearts is beaming with pride. Every Indian is pride, uh, proud on uh, Group Captain Shubhanshu Shukla. So if you can also detail to us about uh, the seven, nearly seven experiments that uh, the mission lead, Subhanshu Shukla, will be carrying out at the International Space Station. Uh, and he'll be giving these details once he's back on Earth. And it's going to be really helpful keeping in mind uh, the future space explorations that India is going to carry forward. Uh, what are these seven experiments that is going to be about that Subhanshu Shukla will be carrying forward? Uh, when we conceptualized, uh, you know, a human space spread program, and when we conceptualized uh, Gaganyan about 15 years back, uh, then... The entire, you know, it is, uh, you know, budget of 18,000 to 20,000 crores. And, same, you know, series of activities have been done to get prepared outside to go to, uh, you know, have the uh, you know, human space program and, and have the Gaganyan program, which is, you know, matured and uh, scheduled to be launched in 2026 and 27. And the entire, uh, you know, exercise of training the, you know, uh, uh, astronaut 
and bringing him to this stage itself is a great learning as i had been keep saying and it is going to be directly useful for our gaganyaan mission uh, where uh, suvarn shukla is one of the, the leading astronauts uh, and who is going to play a leading role in our activities uh, back to the experiments which are going to be conducted in, in the next uh, two weeks that is about uh, 14 days of uh, stay of uh, the, these four astronauts uh, one is from uh, you know uh, us uh, the uh, you know, commander in poland hungary and uh, the india there are 60 experiments which have been listed by 30 countries in all and out of that most uh, you know um, uh, important experiments as such which are supposed to be done in the laboratory i will talk about the experiments which are not going to be done in the laboratory little later but the, the specifically the seven experiments are going to be done in the laboratory are uh, really chosen in such a way i will give you a broad perspective of it one is that if i were an astronaut has to stay in space for longer time if he has to prepare his own um, food if he has to grow his own vegetables what all the ways that a vegetable can be grown is one experiment where he is going to have the plants and what is the difference in the nutrient contents the protein contents the mineral contents when it is grown in space and when it is grown in uh, you know microgravity and in earth is something which is going to study is the first uh, experiment i would classify it as second experiment is that once you have uh, the you know eatables how do you prepare uh, your own food say salads how do you sprout uh, you know uh, to make a salad etc is the second experiment which right, is sir. that trying to make it out right. third is also that say when the astronaut goes to space and stays there the health condition of the astronaut is expected to deteriorate because of microgravity the muscle is going to lose right. its strength the bone is going to lose its strength and how to maintain Uh, because it see uh, our, our intention is to have the colonization of the moon or mars or sometime uh, that is the intention of this entire human right. uh, activity right, therefore exoplanet related to those you know human uh, you know body to sustain maintain microgravity how to supplement how to complement the various proteins uh, minerals etc is another and fourth and last experiment i wanted to mention it to you is that for gaganyaan we are going to have many consoles Uh, and uh, when in microgravity in i think the ice will lose its uh, you know uh, uh, sort of uh, power and uh, there, there will be movement problems there, right, there is sir. you know thing so uh, operating the consoles operating the laptops operating the various gadgets is also something which is going to do which is directly going to be used for the human space right, program sir. of our country and the gaganyaan mission which is impending immediately right, over to you right Dr. S. V. Kateshwara, thank you very, very much for uh, joining us here on Republic at this very moment and sharing your insights on that, uh, ladies and gentlemen. It's a historic moment. Visuals again on your screen right now at that very moment when the hatch opened and uh, the crew members celebrated the successful docking of the AX4 at the International Space Station. In a span of next 14 days, ladies and gentlemen, we will be getting certain videos and moments of uh, the crew members at the International Space Station and Republic. is tracking that story very very closely but for now it's time for us to slip into a short break